It's, it's actually amazing, you know, I think this is a day to kind of celebrate everything. It's been a difficult kind of two year-ish period um, where we haven't been able to do events like this. So what a time to kind of celebrate everyone, get all the athletes together again. It's been a crazy, crazy year for everybody. The team GB, the athletes, the partners, everybody. So it'll be a good night. I feel like Team GB is really welcoming me into the family. And I think with my sport, me and BMX Freestyle and my teammate Declan, uh, it just really feels like they're uplifting the, the new urban sports and really moving Team GB forwards uh, in the excitement of the new Olympics. It's really cool to be here actually. We were just discussing on the way when was the last time we were dressed up in, in black tie gear. So it's pretty exciting to be here. Um, you know, it was so restricted before the Olympics, pre-games uh, pre in terms of the COVID protocols. So it's nice to be here with everyone in a bit more of a relaxed setting. I mean, we couldn't have had Tokyo Olympics at a better time. Coming out of the pandemic, we all wanted to watch sport on TV and be inspired by getting outside and doing something. So to have that continuously reminded into us six months later saying, hey, do you remember those cool people we saw in the summer? There's people in the Winter Olympics doing epic stuff too. So I think the timing's really good to keep that kind of high. I feel like I've met friends for life, uh, people that, you know, I wouldn't usually mix with, but I feel like, you know, there's people that I'll see now in, in 20 years' time and they'll, they'll talk about that, that time in Tokyo, so it's good memories. I think it's really exciting because it, the Summer Olympics, to me, feels like it was the last month, and already now the gears are being cranked and we're looking at Beijing. There's a sort of hype and excitement in the air, and yeah, I can't wait for it to get started.